tomorrow morning, especially for Metro Atlanta, it does look pretty rainy. Now, tomorrow after around the time you eat lunch, it does look like things dry out and you could even see some peaks of sunshine. So it's really only the first half of the day tomorrow where rain will be the most widespread. Otherwise, it will be cloudy and you can see with the rain and the clouds, temperatures hover in the 70s through the day, so very comfortable outside. High temperatures top out near 80 degrees tomorrow, then dipping into the 70s. Let's talk about Sally. It is located about 100 miles off the coast of Pensacola, Florida. It is moving to the west northwest very slowly, only six miles per hour. So this storm, rain and flooding are going to be some of the main threats. You can see, look, Check this out over the next 30 hours. It only moves about 100 miles. Looks like it will make landfall to the east of New Orleans, Barry, New Orleans from the worst of the conditions near Biloxi, Mississippi. But this entire coast is low lying areas. So again, flooding and storm surge will be high impacts that will make landfall as a cat two, possibly a cat three storm moves very slowly through Alabama. You can see the ma main uh, inner bands of heavy rain do not move into Georgia until Wednesday night and Thursday. Thursday looks like it will be a complete washout. So for us here, this is what we could expect right now. Again, there's still uncertainty with this, so it could change and models are in high disagreement about what's going to happen. But we think that we will start seeing those showers on Wednesday morning. The rain will become heavy by Wednesday night. It will be very heavy pretty much through the entire day on Thursday overnight into Friday, and then the rain will taper off through the day on Friday. It's